Hi ma'am, it's Precious Soriano here from Section B. Today, I will be demonstrating the checklist for student newborn care. Babies out. Time of birth, 10.25 p.m. Baby boy. The newborn's APGAR score should, should be assessed at 1 minute and 5 minutes interval. His score is 8 and 8. Thorough drying of the skin should be done and all wet linens should be removed. Initiate early skin-to-skin -skin contact between the newborn and the mother. After the pulsation has stopped, a properly timed cord clamping and cutting is done. This is usually within 1 to 3 minutes. No milking of the umbilical cord towards the infant. The cord should be clamped at 2 cm with a sterile cord clamp. And then clamp again at 5 cm from the base of the umbilical cord. And then cut closest to the first clamp. Nothing should be applied to the cord stamp. The cord was examined and it has AVA or two arteries and one vein. Then separation of newborn from his mother is observed for initiation of breastfeeding. We will perform the first complete physical examination of our newborn. This is done to evaluate a newborn for maturity and overall well-being. We shall be now taking the anthropometric measurements of our newborn and we'll start off with the weight. I will also be checking for the infant's height, head circumference, chest circumference, and abdominal circumference. An erythromycin ophthalmic ointment is given to the newborn and is applied from the inner out cantus of the eye to the outer cantus and it is used to treat eye infection. We will now be administering 1 mg of vitamin K on the newborn's uh, left mid anterior lateral thigh or the vastus lateralis area and this is done to prevent and treat hemorrhagic disease. We will now administer 10 microgram or 0.5 ml of hepatitis B vaccine intramuscularly on the neonate's right mid anterior lateral thigh. This is the infant's protection against all known subtypes of HEPA B virus. We will now be administering 0.05 ml of the BCG vaccine intradermally. This vaccine is uh, to protect the newborn from serious forms of tuberculosis. 
the newborn's vital signs shall be taken to obtain an accurate baseline measurements as these vital signs changes after the birth. The newborn should be kept with the mother in skin-to-skin -skin contact, covered with blanket and a bonnet. This also keep the newborn's temperature between the normal ranges. Bathing our newborn should be postponed until 24 hours of birth or no earlier than 6 hours of life. Handling of newborn should be minimized. You should also watch out for any signs of difficulty in breathing, jaundice, and any feeding difficulties. All assessment, procedures, and therapeutics that were done and given to the newborn should be recorded and documented in the patient's chart. 